here with Vanessa and Andrew on the Yogi Dot Moksha channel. Today we have a one hour full body yin yoga sequence for you. We're going to start this practice with some standing postures, followed by some longer held yin postures on the mat. It is a practice for the whole body, but with some specific focus on the upper back and shoulders. So when you're ready, please come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. Just going to start by taking a few moments to focus on our breath. Start to close the eyes. Start to tune inward from any distractions that may be around you, bringing the attention to the breath. Breathing in and out all the time through the nose. Inhaling and exhaling. With each breath, starting to take slightly longer to inhale, perhaps pausing at the top or taking a slightly longer exhale. tension to release from your shoulders as you focus here simply on the breath coming in and out of your body you may like to count the breath as it comes into the body as you breathe out, maybe breathing in for four, before pausing and breathing out for four. This way, perhaps the time it takes to count to four gets a little slower each time. Just a couple more breaths now. Enjoying these few moments of quiet before we commence our practice. Turning your gaze towards the mat as you gently open the eyes, allowing a few seconds for your eyes to adjust to the light before you gently bring your head back upright. And as I mentioned, we're going to start this practice in a standing position, so when you're ready, Slowly bring yourself to a standing position. So grounding your feet on the mat. Feet a comfortable distance apart. Just taking a minute to feel all four corners of the feet on the mat. You 
going to gently allow the head to fall to the left hand side. Feeling a stretch through the right hand side of the neck and through the shoulder. If you want to intensify the stretch you can just push down gently with your right arm. Maybe allowing the head to fall a little more to the left. Just taking a few seconds here to allow any tension that's built up in that side of your neck and shoulder to relax. gently bringing the head back to upright and we're going to take that stretch to the right hand side so allowing the head to drop gently to the right ear towards right shoulder maybe just pushing down gently with your left hand arm to intensify the stretch through the left hand side of the neck and shoulder Enjoying this stretch all the way down the left hand side of your neck. Just two more breaths now. gently we're going to bring our heads back to upright we're going to bring our arms up over our head now we're going to take a full body stretch to the left hand side so allowing your body to stretch bend to the left Perhaps pushing the hips slightly to the right hand side. Sometimes pushing down through that right hand leg will help you maintain your balance here. So feeling a really intense stretch all the way down the right hand side of the body here. Again, this is a posture where it can be easy to forget to breathe. So just making sure you're continuing to breathe here. And then bringing the body back to a central position before we take that same stretch to the right hand side. So adjusting the feet if you need to Perhaps changing the grip of the fingers and then bending the body to the right. This side feeling the stretch all the way down the left hand side of the body. Push your hips to the left, body to the right. have to come as far down as we're demonstrating you may only be able to bend just a small way but any bend to the left or the right is going to give you a nice stretch down that opposite side of the body so coming back to an upright position now arms can release down to the side of your body maybe taking a moment to roll shoulders We're going to continue some stretches through the shoulders here with a standing version of our closed wing stretch. So we'll again start with the left hand side, bringing the left arm across the front of the body 
and just hooking it in with the right arm. So once you get into position here, you should be feeling a lovely stretch through the left shoulder, perhaps across the back of the scapula region. We've got just a couple more breaths here. I'm going to release that arm, give it a little shake, and then we're going to take the straight, same stretch to the other side. So this time, right arm comes across in front of the body, lock it into position with the left. You'll feel that great stretch here all the way through the right hand shoulder, perhaps across the upper back on the right hand side. Some people may feel that stretch coming all the way down the upper arm. And releasing the arm now, again giving the arms a little shake, letting go of any tension. We're just going to do a final opening for the chest, so bringing the hands together, clasping them into, an, into a fist behind your back, and then just pulling back with the arms, opening up the chest and shoulders. Taking a few breaths here. Shoulder blades squeezing together, chest is opening. Front of the shoulders is opening. You can adjust the position of your head here, see what effect that has on that position, on the feeling you're getting from this position. And then releasing. Andrew, I'll get you stay, to stay standing exactly as you are. Our next posture is going to give you a really nice stretch down the back of the hamstrings, the whole way down the back of the legs, as well as through the upper back. So just coming forward into a dangling position, folding forward. You can have your hands on your ankles or perhaps on the floor if you need to hold your balance here. Some people like to take hold of opposite elbows. Just allowing your whole body to hang forward, getting some traction through the spine here. If you're feeling too much of an intense stretch through the legs, then you can bend the knees here, a little or a lot, as much as you need to. And as you continue to breathe here, you may find that your body, upper body, continues to release with gravity towards the floor. So just taking a few breaths here. Enjoying that feeling as your back tractions, your spine starts to open up. Sometimes I find actually putting a bend in the knees helps to release the back even more. So try for yourself, see what works for you in this stretch today. Another three or four breaths here.
And from this dangling position, we're gonna get ready to move into our next pose. So if your hands are not already touching the floor, bring your hands to the floor, give you some balance here. If your hands don't reach the floor, bend your legs as much as you need to, to be able to rest your hands on the floor. And then we're gonna come into a squatting position. So from hands touching the floor, bring your feet a little further apart, toes face out. For some people that may be as far apart as the mat, for others it'll be closer together. And then gently bring yourself into a squatting position. Hands can remain on the floor to keep your balance, or if you'd like to bring them into a prayer position in front of your chest, you can do that as well. This position is really great at opening up and releasing through the lower back. It's also a bit of a stretch for the groin, the inner thigh. It's a position that in many cultures, this is very natural. Um, instead of sitting on chairs, a squatting position is used. But in other cultures, we rely on chairs and never come into this position that we're, our bodies are made to do. So just finding your pose here. If your heels don't touch the ground, that's completely okay. It really comes down to our bone structure, whether or not our heels are gonna to be touching the ground or perhaps lifting up a little. If you find you need more stability, you can always put a rolled up blanket or towel underneath your heels. Here for just a couple more breaths. And to come out of this position, we're gonna bring our hands back to the floor if they're not there already. And then just walk ourselves forward into an all fours position. So coming into an all fours position, going to tuck the toes underneath. And gently walk your hips back towards your toes. So this can be a very intense stretch across the toes for some people. To alleviate that, you can allow your body to come forward, resting weight into your hands. If you want more stretch through the toes, then you can walk your body upright, bringing your weight into your heels, effectively sitting on your toes. So find the posture that is comfortable for you. We want a little bit of discomfort in this posture, but you do want to be able to hold it for another minute or so. So either sitting back as Andrew is or bringing your weight forward into more of an all fours position. All toes turned under, including the little toes. There are a lot of acupressure points along this area of the foot. So in the ball of the foot and the toes. And so although it can be incredibly painful. This position is like giving yourself a mini foot massage. So deep breaths here. If you do need to come out, then you can just come into a child's pose position. If you can hang on for just a few more seconds, please do so. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and you can release. So just coming forward again into all fours, releasing your toes, 
and then coming back for a short rebound in a child's pose. So hips towards the heels, head towards the mat. Arms can be out in front or relaxed at your side. Just enjoying a few breaths here. Noticing what sensations you might be feeling through your body after these first few postures. We've worked the neck and shoulders. We've done some lateral flexion through the spine, stretched the side of the body, opened up through the hips and stretched the toes. Rolling up when you're ready now going to bring the right leg forward into a dragon posture. So just stepping that right leg forward, weight into the hands. We're looking for a stretch here down the left hip flexor, so the front of the left thigh. So just finding that position, adjusting the front foot forward or back as you need to, to find a comfortable position for your knee. Adjusting the position of the torso, higher up on the hands or lower down. Wherever you can feel that stretch through the left hip flexor. Find that position and then try and settle into being still here. Feeling that stretch through the front of the left hip. An option here to also open up through the right hip is to just roll onto the edge of that right foot. So allowing the knee to fall a little out to the side. You may need to adjust your hands here. This will give you really a stretch through both hips. So through the front hip flexor on the left hand side opening up through the back of the hip, the side of the hip, perhaps the groin on the right hand side here. So it is just an option, give it a try. If it's not for you today, you can just return your foot back to flat on the mat. Breathing into any tension you might be feeling here. And then slowly bringing the right foot back to the mat, right leg back. Taking a moment, preparing to move the stretch to the other side. So when you're ready, you can step the left foot forward into a lunge. Adjust the position of your hands, maybe adjusting the position of your back knee. We're looking for that stretch through the front of the right thigh this time. Right at the top of the hip. Front foot can be forward or back. Just finding whatever position is comfortable that you can hold. It's 
taking a few breaths here. And if you took the option on the other side, then you'd like to do that on this side. Now's the time to roll onto the edge of that left foot, allowing the knee to drop out to the side bringing the stretch into the left hip. Most people will still feel some stretch through the front of their right hip, the right hip flexor. Breathing into any areas of tension here. Here for just a couple more breaths. And then getting ready to release, we're going to slowly bring the foot back to flat on the mat. Bring that, step that left foot back. We're gonna to come to a rebound on our stomach. So come to lying flat on your stomach on the mat. Arms can be by your side or perhaps folded in front with your forehead resting on your palms. Take whatever option is best for you. Allowing the benefits of that last posture to be experienced by the body. making any slight adjustments that you might need, perhaps wiggling the hips a little. You're gonna come into a lizard posture. So you're gonna bring the left leg up alongside the body. Actually, if you could just keep your um, torso down on the ground to start with, Andrew. Slide the left leg up a little. Now, some people will come just a very short way up Andrew's actually got his leg quite a long way forward. So just find the position that you start to feel a little bit of compression through your lower back here, but not too much. We're then going to, if you feel comfortable here and you're looking for a little more, we're gonna bring ourselves up onto our elbows. So Andrew, if you could just prop yourself up on your elbows, clasping opposite elbows is a great way to start you may find that your elbows sit comfortably directly underneath your shoulders or you might like to walk them forward a little more if you're finding that this is a bit too intense for your back we're not looking for a intense stretch to the or com intense compression to the spine here we're just looking for a slight compression here so you don't want to be feeling nothing and you don't want to be feeling too much so finding a position that gives you just a healthy stress to the lower spine. Position of your head can be adjusted. You could drop it forward, perhaps bring it back. Some people like to support their head on a block here. Some people might like to rest their chin in their hands. finding a position that you can comfortably hold. Sending the breath to any areas where you might be feeling tension, perhaps the lower back, perhaps the hip. The 
Imagine as you inhale, the breath is flowing directly into that area, helping to relax the muscles and connective tissues in that space. Scanning your body, noticing if there are any areas that you could relax right now, perhaps your feet, maybe your thighs. Just allowing the body to relax. If you haven't already done so, perhaps just closing your eyes here for the last few seconds that we're holding this posture. Slowly now, allowing your torso to return to the mat. If you're propped up, bringing your left leg back down to a straight position. Taking a moment to perhaps just shuffle the hips a little, release any tension that may have built up in your lower back before we take the position to the right hand side. So this time we're gonna bring the right knee up alongside the body, just as far as is comfortable to you. And if you're looking for a little more here, you can slowly bring your torso up onto your elbows. Again, just walking the elbows forward or back to find the position that gives you a nice healthy stress to the lower part of your spine. Allowing your head to find its comfortable position. Perhaps it's dropping forward, perhaps it's looking upright. And then sending your breath to any areas of tension in the body As you breathe in, some of that tension starts to dissolve. Just one more minute in this posture now. So if you need to make any adjustments, if you're finding that perhaps your leg is a little high, you'd like to bring it down a little, or your arms are a little high, you wanna lower yourself a little, then you can do that. Just adjust as you need to, and then settle into stillness for the last few seconds that we have remaining here. Final few breaths. And then we're gently going to 
Lower our torso back to the mat. Bring our leg back to a straight position. Legs a comfortable distance apart, just taking a short rebound on our front here. Noticing the sensations in our body from this last posture. Perhaps feeling some subtle changes to the energy moving through our body. Sometimes people will feel warmth radi radiating from the area that we've just been working. For other people it can feel cool. For some people, maybe like a very subtle tingling sensation. Just noticing what it feels like for you. And then when you're ready, I'll ask you to roll onto your back. Our next stretch is going to be working on the glutes. So find yourself in a comfortable, comfortable position lying on your back. You're going to bend both knees so that the feet are on the floor. We're going to start with the left hand side. So bringing the left ankle up to cross over the right knee. Then your arms are going to come forward to take hold of your right thigh. So left arm is probably going to come through the, the center of your legs, taking hold behind the thigh. Or if it's more comfortable for you, you could also take hold of the shin. So just find where you can comfortably hold and then pulling that leg towards the body. You should be feeling a stretch right through the left glute. Perhaps the outer hip. Sometimes just allowing the body to rock slightly from side to side can help you find that best position where you're getting a really good stretch and when you find that stretch through your left glute just going to settle into stillness so if your head's not already on the mat allow your head to fall back maybe close down the eyes turn your attention to your left hip, your left glute muscle. Allow that area to relax as much as it can. Bringing the stretch into the connective tissues. Some of the joints and uh, ligaments and tendons in that area. Continuing to breathe here, remembering to consciously relax any part of the body where you're not using muscle, muscular effort at this time. As your body opens, the longer we hold this stretch, you may need to adjust your position slightly. Once you've done that, just return to stillness. And 
gently releasing now, I'm going to switch the stretch to the other side. So this time, right ankle comes across the left knee. Taking hold of the back of the thigh, or perhaps the shin. And then allowing torso and head to fall back to the mat as you pull that leg towards you to get the stretch all the way through the right hand glute and hip area. So enjoying the stretch on this side. As you settle into the posture, you may need to adjust a little, perhaps rocking from side to side to find the stretch. Finding the area where you feel the stretch most effectively. Coming still, allowing the body to open, the muscles to release, allowing the stretch to move into the connective tissues, tendons, ligaments, the fascia that holds our body together. Providing these gentle stresses to those areas of our body, our connective tissues, tendons, ligaments, all layers of the fascia reminds our body that we need to use these areas. So it reminds our body to keep them healthy. Ensuring the blood's flowing to that region the natural processes are doing what they should be within the body. Taking a last breath here. to gently release that leg. Coming back to lying on our backs. Legs out straight. Taking any movements that you need here, a little wiggle of the legs if required. Just taking a few moments to allow the body to absorb the benefits of these postures. Noticing any changes we might be experiencing in the body. Bringing some movement slowly back to the body now. And I'll prepare for a spinal twist. So, bringing the left knee back in towards the chest. Take hold of it with your hands. Maybe give it a little squeeze here. And then 
Allow the knee to fall over across the body towards the right hand side. So left arm comes out on the mat. Right arm can help the knee across. Head can turn to the left or to the right. Just finding a position that's comfortable for you. Looking for a twist all the way down the spine here. So these spinal twist positions, as well as being really great workout for the spine, also sometimes provide us with a bit of a stretch through the glute of the upper leg, through the obliques, the side muscles on our torso, as well as an opening across the chest and shoulders. So find your position, close the eyes, Try to remain still here. Allowing the body to relax. Enjoying that twist throughout the spine. So if you've drifted off here, just starting to bring your awareness back to your breath. Getting ready to unravel out of the posture. Coming back to lying in a neutral position. You may like to bring both knees into the chest here, give them a little squeeze just to realign the spine. And then extending the left leg, we're going to take hold of the right knee. Give that a squeeze. And then allow that knee to drop across your body, helping it along with the left hand. Right hand comes out to the side. Head might turn to the left or turn to the right. Knee may be touching the floor here or perhaps floating in the air. Either is okay. Sometimes we need to find the balance between having our shoulder on the ground and having our knee on the ground. So just finding the tipping point where you get the best twist through your spine and then settling in there. Enjoying the twist through the spine, the stretch through the glute. 
stretch through the obliques, the side muscles of the body. Nice opening through the chest and shoulders. Continuing to breathe and just relax here. Just another minute here. So I'll leave you in silence to enjoy this spinal twist. Slowly coming back to the room now, just bring your attention just enough to allow yourself to unwind and come back to lying on your mat. We're coming into our final pose now of Shavasana. So ideally lying on your back, legs a comfortable distance apart, arms a comfortable distance away from the body. Perhaps adjusting your shoulders to settle in under your body. Adjusting your head if you need to. Taking the time to put on any layers that you may need to keep warm. And then settling into your position and closing down the eyes. Just returning to your natural breath here. So no need to focus on controlling the breath, just allowing it to enter and leave the body as it will of its own accord. Allow the body to relax here. Start by turning your attention to your feet and allowing your feet to relax. Toes to relax. Toes, feet and ankles relax here. Relax your lower leg, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Legs are starting to completely relax here. Relax your hips and pelvis. Allow them to just sink into the mat. Relax your back, relax your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Allow your back to relax completely on the mat. Relax your stomach, relax your chest. Relax your shoulders. Consciously relax your shoulders, do that again. Relax your arms, relax your hands, your fingers, arms, hands and fingers are relaxed. Relax your neck, relax your head, relax your jaw, relax your eyes, relax your eyebrows. 
whole head is completely relaxed here. Whole body now completely relaxed. Enjoying this state of complete relaxation. So if you have the time to remain in your Shavasana, please do so for as long as you can. Or if you're ready, slowly bringing some awareness and movement back to your body. Perhaps making some small movements in your fingers and toes. body to one side, returning to an upright seated position when you're ready. There's no rush. I would like to thank you for joining the practice with Andrew and I today. Thank you, Andrew, for demonstrating. I hope you enjoyed this practice. You'll find more of our practices on the yogi.moksha YouTube channel. And if you do enjoy them, please subscribe to be notified of any new videos that we post. Namaste.